How's it hanging? Impact Wrestling Fans BQ here. This is the Impact Lounge. I hope this audio recording finds you good at this time. want to pose a question out to you guys. I'm not reporting anything. I'm not uh, putting any rumors out there. Just something I'm thinking about. Is Ethan Carter the third, the next big name to leave Impact Wrestling? Now, I don't know his contract status. He was asked around the time of Slammiversary, and he said he thinks it was up in February of 2018. I would imagine that's probably not the case. It's probably a little bit later than that. He w he didn't sound so sure, but there hasn't been rumors you know, floating around like they were for James Storm. So James Storm obviously left, maybe wanted to, maybe didn't want to. I don't put a lot of, uh, I don't know the word I'm looking for. I don't I don't put a lot of weight in where people said he you know when he did his goodbye speech he didn't say goodbye to Anthem. I mean, yes he said goodbye to Dixie Carter, Jeff Jarrett, uh Bob Ryder, but he has a history with these guys and there's no real history with Anthem, so I'm not putting a whole lot into that. But uh, you know, many of us had speculated that he did make a lot of money. He wasn't in the main event scene and at his age could see him trying to do something different is ec3 in that category ec3 doesn't look happy doesn't act happy and for lack of better term he is their john cena now i'm not putting him on the level of john cena but for impact wrestling he's their john cena so to speak homegrown guy and they hitched the wagon to him for a long time it's been coming up on two years since he's been a world champion and uh, he doesn't seem to be in that title scene he's got the grand championship which he's not a fan of doesn't think it means anything and doesn't mean anything and you got to imagine that EC3 probably of everyone hanging around right now probably makes the most so is Anthem gonna say EC3 is in our long-term plans because when you see a change of the guard and you can probably relate it to your own place of work. Usually the people who've been there for a little while don't like change. They view it as things were fine before you got here. I was stuck in my ways. People who come in during the change or after the change, they have no opinion on it because that's all they know. Some of these big names may have to take pay cuts, but some of the newer names coming in are taking pay upgrades so it's there's just a lot of um, a lot of different angles and I just have to wonder is EC3 next to go they're not he's not the guy they're not making him the guy he's not in that main event scene he's in the mid card he hasn't been dominant the last couple years he's lost matches that he probably shouldn't have. he's lost too many times I can say that much I don't want him to go anywhere. I definitely, definitely, definitely don't want him to go anywhere. But with the cuts that are being made, and you remember, we, we want this company to stay afloat more than anything. What does it mean to re-sign James Storm and EC3 and bring all these guys in if the company goes away? So we kind of have to trust in Ed to a certain point. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you think EC3 is the next to go? Or maybe not the next to go, but the next big, the big name. The one that's going to make the headlines. He has said recently, as a few months ago, when asked about WWE, that he has some unfinished business over there. Doesn't sound like a guy who's totally down for the company in its current state. Hopefully we never lose EC3. But I don't know. I feel like the writing's on the wall a little bit. Let me know your comments. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. Peace.